Hello out there, music community. I hope everyone is having a good day. I have this day and tomorrow off, and it has been a good and relaxing day. I want to give a very, very appreciative thank you to all the recent subscribers to my channel. Thank you so much. The last few videos have gotten a lot of great comments and I appreciate those comments. I do read them and try to respond to them as quickly as I can. And so being off today was a day of listening to music records. And um, probably if my record store was open today, I might have went up there. But I have another video I'll probably do later on today where I did another trade for some uh, uh, records and got rid of some because I'm trying to downsize a little bit. Okay, so let me get to the purpose of this video. This video of the records that I listened to today that I wanted to share, it was like going back and revisiting friends, old friends. That's what I remember most about being young. When you went over to a friend's house and you actually listened to a record together before the internet, before iPhones, phones, phones period, before laptops, computers, you actually got on your bike if you had to go far or you walked and you took your couple of your records to go listen to with a friend who was eagerly waiting to listen to them with you and just hang out talk about it or not even talk about the record just enjoy the music so I played five records today that I really uh, liked and enjoy very much two of them were released in 1973 two of them were released in 1978 so I was in a 70s period. Don't know why. Don't know if it means anything. Probably not. But here we go. 1973, John Lennon, Mind Games. I think this is a very underrated album. I love the artwork. I love the music. It's one of uh, John Lennon's more of a, a focused album. The one previous, uh, sometime in New York City or something like that, that's a good record. Uh, I'm sure some people don't like it, but it was one of the early records that I heard as a youngster that had a lot of political songs on it, and I, I like that album as well. This one right here, John Lennon does some really, really good songwriting. One of my favorites is the uh, Out, Out, let me say it again, Out the Blue. Great vocal, vocal har harmonies. Had that Has that style that kind of reminds you of All Things Must Pass when they do that uh, background vocal and they go into that ah. Uh, you know what I mean. I'm not a very, I'm not a singer. But that song and Mind Games, there's some rockers on here like Tight Ass, Mind Games, great songs. But this album is beginning, from beginning to end, it's just an excellent rock album all right released in 1973 the debut or self-titled album camel yes prog rock this album has some jazz styles to it it's another underrated prog rock album by camel great melodic structures in the song and i think the cover says it all. Cam, camel, steamrolling ahead, just going full force. Here's the back cover. I um, playing this again. I realize that I have a, a UK copy, which is really nice, and it sounds totally awesome. Check this album out. Don't hear too many people talking about this band, but you know, what do I know? The vinyl community is so, so vast. There's probably people ha have, but I simply love this album. I found it a long time ago for that price, $5.99 plus tax. Next is an album released 
1974 was talked about on a stream. I was on Rachel's Ghost Stream. And the vinyl archivist Patrick came on and said if we talked about the album by uh, Jeff Rotol War, War Child. And he told me if it had, I forget, it's on the, it, it is on the Dead Wax. That that's a good pressing. So he, he was totally right because this album sounds really, really good. War Child. A lot of people that are into Prague, and I, you know, I can't speak for everybody, don't really like this album that much. Go figure. I think it's one of the best prog hard rock records. Side two is just my favorite side. You know, it begins with skate skating away on the thin ice of a new day, bungo in the jungle, only solitaire, the third hurrah, and two fingers. Really, really good album from beginning to end. Someone said on my um, YouTube short. That I should get the CD of this because it has some really, really good bonus tracks. Love the artwork. Look at that. Skating Away on the Thin Ice of a New Day. War Child. It's all got it all happening here. Got, uh, what was that one song? That's another good one. Queen and Country. That is such another, another good song. Next are the two albums that were released in 1978 and I come to find out that this one that I'm about to share came out around the time of disco music which you know disco music did dominant had a domination for a while but there was still some rock and hard rock going on like one band that I remember had a big hit was My Sharona the Knack this is Legs Diamond. This is Power Power. Love the artwork. This is a good hard rock, and I'm going to say it. Heavy metal record. The band formed in L.A., and this came out in 1978. They were on Mercury, but don't know what happened. This is the only album that I have by them and I'm hoping to get more for some reason around here in Texas I don't come across their albums that much this album was gifted to me by the ever so kind vinyl archivist and he sent me a very nice clean copy this album is just good from beginning to end some of my favorites are tunes like Underworld King and their version of the Righteous Brothers, you lost that love and feeling. Should have been a, should have been on the top forty. Remember my name, Chicago Midnight Lady, M Man at the Top. Really, really good record. Okay, the next album, it's gonna might be a shocker to some, but it was a, this is a this is interesting. It's another record gifted to me from the Vinyl Archivist. This next album that I want to show, you know, you hear folks whenever they get a new stereo and they want to try out an album to uh, break in their new setup and their, or their upgraded stereo system, folks will play uh, Steely Dan's uh, Asia or a Chicago album or really good ones. Someone said in a comment that I was reading, not on my channel, but just reading when I went to go read reviews about this album. So this was an album that they played for friends when they had a new stereo system and they were blown away. This is Pablo Cruz, Get Ready, Worlds Away, 1978. This is a really good pop, soft rock, relaxing album. It has a lot of good songs on here. So, you know... Go listen for yourself. Some may have it, but I don't shun this album. I have this one and another Pablo Cruz album. I put it in the category, yeah, yeah, yacht rock, but the big hit and a song that me and Mrs. Prague had like a lot is Love Will Find a Way. But the first song, Worlds Away, has like a, a style of saga with those keyboards. Don't Want to Live Without You is another good one. Uh, sailing to paradise running there's some really good songs on here and I'm not ashamed I love this record I'll probably play it again tomorrow or later on today 
But a long time ago on PBS, there was a uh, documentary about this band. It was really, really good. And I'll never forget uh, my mom really liked their one big hit, uh, What You Gonna Do When She Says Goodbye. You know, remember that big hit? And she was all excited. And it was the first time I ever seen a picture sleeve single. And she brought it home and we were listening to it on her stereo system back then. And it was, sounded great. My mom, I like the music she listens to or listen to. Rest in peace. Well, that's it for this video, folks. That's what I wanted to share with some records that I was listening to on the 4th. I hope everyone is doing good, having a good 4th. I'll probably be back later on today with a couple of other more videos that I got in the works. I'm still thinking about kicking off where I go through my collection, you know, doing the alphabet thing. But I really just want to focus on records that I have like of a band of artists that I have like about four or five or more of their records, not bands that I just have one album or two. Some bands only made two albums. Like I'll give you a good example, The Firm. Take care, everybody. Rock on, and I will see you on my next video. And thank you so much from the bottom of my heart.